Hey Android fans, this is Eric from HollywoodPhoto.com with another Android app review. Today I'm going to be answering the question, what do I do if I have a Bluetooth keyboard connected to my tablet or my phone, but the on-screen keyboard keeps popping up and I don't want it there when I'm using a Bluetooth keyboard? This app answers that question. Right before we talk about that, I do want to remind you that this review is sponsored in part by AndyTags.com, which is a really cool website, a great place to get really cool NFC uh, keychains and NFC stickers, all Android themed for use with your Android phone. So head over to AndyTags.com after the review and check those out. So the name of the app is Null Keyboard, N-U-L-L -L Keyboard, which basically is a way of saying, I don't want a keyboard on my screen. Uh, because when you connect a Bluetooth keyboard, you don't need the on-screen keyboard. Some tablets are smart enough to do that automatically. Other ones, like mine, are not. And so that's where the Null Keyboard app comes in handy. So let's hop on my uh, Galaxy, Samsung Galaxy Note tablet, and I'll show you how it works. Okay, so the app Null Keyboard. It's not something, you, you don't actually do anything inside the app. Um, basically, once it is installed, uh, here's the problem that it solves. Um, I have this Bluetooth keyboard here. You can see. So when I, I'm going to turn this on, uh, so that it will connect to my uh, Galaxy Note. You can see Bluetooth keyboard, keyboard connected. So now I can use this to type. The problem is, if I actually start to type up here, the stupid on-screen keyboard shows up too. Um, right now I have it as a minimized keyboard that I can move around. Uh, if you had it full screen keyboard, then it would lift this up and be full screen. Um, on the tablet, you could also have it be a thumb keyboard. But either way, any way you look at it, uh, it's there. And although the physical keyboard works, as you see, I'm typing high on the physical keyboard, this is in the way. It's taking up, I don't need that. I'm using a physical keyboard. One of those things that should probably be built into Android. And if you hear tip tapping behind me, I'm sorry, it's my dog. She's. She wants to play, um, but uh, it's it should be built into Android, but it's not. Some tablets, the uh, uh, the manufacturer has put that into them to happen automatically, but a lot have not. This is a Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1, and obviously it doesn't have it. So once you have uh, no keyboard installed, you have to go into your settings, and you go into your language and input and you'll see it right there, no keyboard. You have to select it as one of your options. You get the same pop-up you get anytime you activate the keyboard. And so now let's go back to that note. Go back to that note right here and press here. Of course, the Galaxy keyboard is going to pop up, but here's a little option to allow you to switch keyboards. If I press that, I can select no keyboard, which is kind of another way of saying no keyboard. So I select that. Now there's no keyboard, but I can still use the physical keyboard, the Bluetooth keyboard. And that's really all it is. By selecting no keyboard, it gets rid of the keyboard. Uh, uh, when you're using a Bluetooth keyboard, uh, it gets rid of that on-screen keyboard, which you don't need anyway. So now I can uh, just type on my physical keyboard without having a pop-up keyboard uh, enter you know pop-up keyboard on the screen, taking a precious screen real estate that is better used for this keyboard. And my dog is going crazy back there. She really wants me to play with her. Anyway, that's really all there is to know a keyboard. Uh, it's really simple. Uh, once you install it, go into input settings and select it as an option. And then whenever you connect a Bluetooth keyboard, you press the keyboard option and select no keyboard. And there you go. You can use your Bluetooth keyboard without having an on-screen keyboard in the way. That's all it is. That's all it does. It's free. It works. What else is there to say? That was Null Keyboard, N-U-L-L Keyboard. As you can see, it's a pretty simple thing. It doesn't really do anything 
except it does, but you just install it and then you choose it as your keyboard whenever you have your Bluetooth keyboard connected and you won't get the on-screen keyboard. Because what's the point of using a Bluetooth keyboard and then having an on-screen keyboard take up all that uh, uh, real estate? Really is one of those dumb things that Android should know automatically and should do automatically, but it doesn't. So anyway, if you uh, are in the need for that, there it is. No keyboard, you can pick it up on Google Play. If you like this review, please click that like button. If you know anyone who maybe would benefit from having this information, maybe they have a tablet and a Bluetooth keyboard, you can share this video on Facebook, Google+, Reddit, through email. All those ways are right there, so do that. Uh, check out my channel for other Android app reviews, uh, product reviews, uh, tasker tutorials, dog product reviews, a lot of cool things. You can subscribe to just the playlist you're interested in or subscribe to my whole channel to keep up with everything that I put up here. Anyway, that is about it. Until next time, this is Eric reminding you that your Android phone or tablet is only going to be as good as you make it.